Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about Australia Day. It's January 26. Stick around and listen. Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about Australia Day 2024. It's the beginning of the year, so Australia Day is coming up. It's January 26, and there are a whole bunch of people who want to move the date. And what do we say about them? They're cunts. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. They're scumbags. You know, and there are people who are traitors in our community, as Sam Newman so gracefully put it. Uh, Woolies and Aldi are run by uh, pedophiles and whores who uh, won't stock. Um, Australia Day merchandise, but you know, there's the reject shop, the two dollar shops, they're all stocking the Australia Day merchandise, so you're a patriot, and if, you, if you're not a patriot, you shouldn't be watching this show, the report from Tiger Mountain, I'll tell you that much. So, you know, there's always been this controversy, at least in recent years, I mean, when I was growing up, no one questioned Australia Day was 2020, you know, January 26, I mean, um, you know, but now, uh, everyone is like, oh, it's Invasion Day, it's this, it's that. I mean, you know, really, it is, we need a national day and January 26 is it. If you want to have another holiday, go and have it, have a second day. If, if you want to have a second national day, go ahead and have another one. I'm not going to complain if you celebrate Australia twice, but we're keeping January 26. And, you know, I think after the yes and no um, vote, uh, the Aboriginal nonsense, and the no landslide, let's be honest, it was a landslide, um, you know, everyone's over this, this, this rubbish. No one's interested in this, you know, Aboriginal nonsense. And... Uh, and there are a lot of Aboriginals that like January 26 as well. They understand that uh, Europeans came here, and what, what did they do? Well, they pretty much, they built everything. They built everything. You know, the roads, the, the schools, the hospitals, the, the trains, the airplanes, the electricity, uh, everything, basically. So, you know, obviously this great nation uh, incredibly benefited from colonisation. Was it all nice? No, okay? There were some, uh, you know, let's just say bumps in the road along the way, and we can be nice. And, you know, I think there's always been an attitude in Australia, be nice to Aborigines. Um, that was something that I was taught as a kid. You know, you should be nice to the Aborigines, and I, I still stick to that philosophy. There's no reason to be nasty to them, you know, there's no reason to mistreat them, and I think that, you know, in the last 50 years or so, uh, civilization has done our best to be nice to the Aborigines, but we're certainly not going to change the uh, the day of January 26, which is the day, um, you know, that we celebrate Australia Day. And look, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, if you don't fucking like it, get the fuck out of the country, okay? You know, get on a plane and fuck off. You know, and to be honest, if I was the Prime Minister or the President or the dictator of this country, I'd kick you out. We all know that, you know, like the politicians don't really want it, the Labour politicians particularly don't want to celebrate Australia Day. The traitors like Daniel Andrews is now gone and replaced by that Jacinda Allen person. And then you've got like Albo, you know, up in Canberra. They don't really want to celebrate Australia Day, but they can't get rid of it. They know that getting rid of it would basically alienate most of the people who voted for them, ladies and gentlemen, so they can't get rid of it. So basically they're leaving it up to, um, you know, the corporate community, uh, the pedophiles and the whores, as uh, Sam Newman put it, uh, you know, who run places like, you know, Woolies and, and, and um, you know, Aldi to try and undermine our national sovereignty, which is what questioning Australia Day is all about. And we don't support it here at the report from Tiger Mountain.